What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. I just now realized my mic is off again. <sighs> Hate it when it does that. It does it all the time. Super annoying. Like to the point where I just wanna punch my Xbox. Or no, not my Xbox, my mic. Anyway, what's up? I'm playing some Minecraft today. At least I hope I am. And yeah, let's get to it. I'm like really tired. Like to the point where I could go to bed again tired. Fun fact. Like Heston got snow last night. Well, part of Heston. I think some of Heston. We didn't get much. Like all that all there was was some ice on my windshield. And a little bit of snow in my on my bird feeder, that's it. Other than that, we got nothing. Besides freezing rain and rain. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world. A whole new world. I really want this one. I wonder how much it is. $5.99 for modern furniture. Are you kidding me? That is crazy expensive. Oh, but it looks so nice. Like, look at this. It looks so nice. <sighs> but why $5.99? I don't want it to be that much. Guess mm. create new world. A whole new world. No, I don't want to name it. So get away, you dumb thing. Can you I don't care. Normal. Difficulty peaceful, not easy. Now the reason why I decided to start a new world was because I'm going to be doing some like some security tutorials for you guys I guess in a way kind of not really though and I need to find a perfect flat place on land that isn't too crowded like right here would be perfect but there's like four different steps up so that won't work. Like over here, I think. Yeah, over here would work. But we'll have to get rid of some grass. Okay, so now what I will need is I'll need some. Hmm. I'll need some brick and some decorative stone. Because right now, I'm just going to build like a 
modern, I guess not really a modern house, but like a brick house. I think I might do another two rows up still. Go another two more rows up, then I'll at the roof. Actually, I think in this video I'm just gonna build the house. Build the house and the outside of it. And I know this isn't a very big house, but I'm probably not going to live in it much, if at all. So now why I'm missing the edges is because I'm going to be making the, like, one of those pointed roofs. Like, one of those roofs. That's why I'm missing the edges of it. A whole new world. <laughs> okay, so now you want to go to stairs. And I think I might choose, like, a... Probably like a smooth quartz stairs, maybe? See how that will look? Mm, yeah. Now, no, I'm not missing the top. Well, actually, in a sense, I kind of am missing the top, but it's actually, I'm actually not really missing the top because of what I'm going to be doing. Now the reason why I'm not doing the top with the stairs is because 
then it would look kind of ugly like that. So what I'm going to do instead is when I'm done with this, I'll get another piece out, except different. And then I'll do that. But first I'm gonna come in here. Need the slabs. I believe it's smooth quartz. I also need to come in here and get some lights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of the redstone lamp and a lever. I found out that you can actually turn them on and off with the lever, so. Now I also want a, probably an acacia door. Yeah, that looks pretty nice with this. Okay, so now I'll get the smooth quartz slab come out over on this side first then what I'll do is I will do this and there we go so now what it looks like is you can climb 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 you're at the top then you can go down and if you go inside this is what the inside looks like I actually kind of like this house like I know it's small but It'll work. Like, I think I like it to the point where I don't even think I would want any lights in it. Because if you look at it, it's already bright enough, really. It really is already bright enough, so. But you can still see inside. Now, if I were to do, like, the oak door... Or like the dark oak wood door, then yeah, I'd definitely invite in here because then it would be dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a table. And how you do that is with oak wood fence. A pressure plate. I'm gonna do a oak pressure plate. I'm also going to do some, I also need like a crafting table in here. Some, a bookshelf in here. I also want a chest, actually probably a few chests. And I'll probably want a cold thing. And also a furnace. And I guess I'll also get a smoker too. See, like right now, it's night, which is perfect because now that means it's time to go to bed. That's what I forgot. I also forgot a bed. Dang it. Now this bed isn't tip they're permanent, it's just gonna be a quick temporary bed so I can sleep in it. 
is I'm gonna destroy it and I'm gonna have like the crafting table over here, then like the I would put it right there, but then it connects right there, so that won't work. try something real quick. If they have it in here, they may not have it in here. They do. I'm gonna try carpet instead. I'd say this carpet looks better. And the reason why I say that is because if I were to do the pressure plate for all four, it'd look like that and there'd be a gap in between. With the carpet, you can't really tell that. Actually, I guess you kind of could tell it's carpet. And until you feel it, then yeah, you end up with that. I also need to redo the floors. Not the brick, the floors. So I'm go ahead and get rid of the brown. Actually, no, I can't. I'll go ahead and get rid of the map. I think I might do either the smooth stone or smooth quartz block or maybe like I'm not sure yet. Or like maybe stripped oak wood would look good. Actually, kind of like this. It's like a nice little cottage type of feeling. Okay, so then I'll put like some, like some bookshelves. I'll probably do like a three by three, so nine total bookshelves. Then over here, I'll probably have like the chest. So I have crafting table, nine bookshelves, and a chest over here. Then thinking like over here I could do like the furnace and a cauldron and that'd be like water and food oh crud <laughs> kind of running out of space I guess I could move the crafting table like to right here right when you walk in then I could put the two beds And I could do that. I think that looks pretty nice. I 
I think I might get rid of this. Okay, this actually looks kind of nice. It kind of reminds me of like a little studio. Okay, so that's the inside. Now I'm going to come out here to the outside. And I'm going to... Now for the outside, I'm going to need some... I'm going to do like some actual like outside materials. So like some maybe some stone some flowers some monster spawner heck no infested stuff what out here i'm gonna have some like some bamboo some Probably some bee nests. You'll also want to get. I'm gonna do some decorative stone. I'm gonna do some stone bricks for like a nice little walkway feeling type thing, if you know what I mean. Seeds. I don't need seeds. But yeah, I also forgot this. I'm gonna get some stone brick wall, too. I need bamboo and the bee nest. And I think maybe some sand and like a cactus. Now, what I'm going to do with this is... I'm going to connect it to the house. And I'm going to basically make a wall. And that way only really only animals can get out or only really no nothing can get in or out also gonna do like a fence like maybe a birch so I'm like you can get in and out but no animals can no animals can jump over it no animals can open it and you can open it and close it unless you're a villager then villagers can open and close it but who knows where the closest village is so yeah now there's the front walkway the back however is gonna be like I guess somewhat nicer like I'm talking about one, two, three, one, two, three. Like, I'm talking about maybe a wooden deck back here. I'm gonna go planks, oak wood. I'm gonna go like this. Actually, I don't think. I'm not gonna put a deck on this. 
one because I honestly don't really like it but what I will do is I need the decorative stone again I also need some stone like just some normal stone and I'm gonna fill it in with stone I need I think this would look like a good transition. We're there. Door here. I'm gonna go to sleep again because it's night again. Wake up. Now it's time for back here. Again. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of these big tall things. I don't even really know what they're called. I missed one. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a, I guess like a little patio, like patio cookout thing. Like, Now I'm going to clear out this center area because, oh, dang it, I'm one too far, or one too short, right, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm too, too far, or too, too short. Wait, no, I want it to be like a 7x7, seven seven, right? I think. So one, two, three. So this one should be the whole one, two, three. Bingo. Okay, so basically what I just did here is I'm going to put a stone slab in, I think. Pretty sure I'm putting a stone slab in.
I'm back. So now what you'll want to do is you want to put a stone or a a stone brick slab in. Then what you'll want to do is you will want to do wait what? Oh, that's a bean. There's a bean nest and beehive. What? So then you'll want not a jukebox. You want a campfire. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with that. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Actually, I think I might do like a smooth stone slab. And that can be like your fire pit thing. I'm gonna laugh when that sheep goes straight into it. Dang it. Okay, beat it sheep. Beat it lamb chops or else you're supper next. Now, like I said with the smoker, you'll want that for outside because a smoker, trust me, a smoker indoors is not going to look good. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right, this really isn't big enough. I'm going to go ahead and place it right here and I'm just going to extend this out a little bit. I know I needed grass. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the stone brick wall out again. I'm gonna patch that up and that up. Then I'm gonna go out one more. Like that. So, like that. Actually, hold up. I'm gonna go out another one like this. I'm trying to mimic this side. That's why it's not looking right. There we go. And then I can put this on like its own separate one. right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and redo this outline. Not with all that, that's for sure. Then right here, I'm going to put the gate in again. With a walkway there so and again you can get in and out but animals cannot now I know this off centered but I centered it with my door to make it more straight okay 
so how I came one out, then I came one, two, three over. Okay, so I'm gonna go one out, then three over. Right? Wait, what? This is not look right. Wait, is it one out or two out? It's three out, actually. Right? I think. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. That's better. I was like, wait, um, <laughs> that's not looking right. That should be like a really like a two by three by three by two. Now, basically, what I'm doing over here in this area is like a little seating area. So like, you can have your campfire going, you can sit around that, with like seats here, really you can only have like four, yeah, four seats around the campfire, or like the fire pit thing. So then I'm going to add more seating over here, so like a chair there, oh wait, oh, wait, what the, Lamb, you weren't supposed to get in. Well, looks like I get about the wall one more higher. Yay. Dumb lamb. Oh, now it looks hideous. Ugh. So now I'm going to have like a seating area here with like a little table here. And for the outside, I'm going to do birch instead of oak. So birch, I'm going to go ahead and replace it with the gate. I also need some carpet. And I'm going to do like a tan carpet. If they had any tan carpet, I would. I guess I'll do like a brown carpet for the tabletop. So there's that. Then I'll do a. Actually, I might. Yeah, I'm going to do a brown. Okay. So now this is like my outdoor seating area, which I actually kind of like. Kind of reminds me of Mickey Mouse. It's kind of weird. Like, the ears and the face right here. It's actually kind of cool. Kind of like that. Hmm. Okay, so now. The basically almost all of this is all optional, but now if you want to, actually no, I'm not gonna do a bee nest because I honestly don't think it looks good with the house. But if you really wanted to, which Again, you don't have to, but I am, just to show you guys. I'm going to get the birch out again, the birch wood fence. I'm also going to get the birch planks. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to get that, then come over here. I'm going to get the birch wood, the strip birch wood. 
and that, then I also need to get another birch gate and also some birch stairs. And the reason why is because I'm going to be trying to make, I'm going to be making like a little fenced in area. And again, this is optional, but I thought, why not? First, I'm going to go to sleep real quick so I can get it to be day again. It is day again, so now gonna come out here we're gonna go birch wood to like right here then out here now you guys are probably gonna be saying gauge are you making some like some like a horse pin or something well actually no I'm not instead what I'm doing is I'm gonna Put it like right here at this corner. Is I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make like a little dog house. So like I'm gonna need to move or remove this area because it's I'm pretty sure it's one 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 one. Then it's this this, this, actually I kind of need to do it more centered, so like right here, birch, the birch wood, then birch wood right here, then the stripped wood there. So then I remove all this. Then that there, then great, it's raining. Um, okay, hang on. Yeah, remove that real quick so then it doesn't go out. <laughs> Because that could be bad. Now I need the fence to go all the way along here. That's another thing I forgot. I forgot the birchwood slabs. Dang it. Wherever they are. Slabs. Birchwood slab. Dang it. Guess I also need to get the stair now, again. Birchwood stairs right here. And there you go. I have like a little dog house. Then if you want to, again this is all optional. But I'm going to get a birch fence. I'm going to put it right there. Then what you can do is you can get a sign. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to get a sign. Probably going to do a birch sign. Then I'm going to do, like, spot for my dog name, for my dog's name. So now, so now let's say your dog's tired. I'm just going to spawn a dog real quick. Actually, spawn a wolf real quick. Where is it? Eh? Nope. Eh. Nope, that's a polar bear. Wolf. You'll also need a bone to tame the wolf. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Spawn it. Tame it. So I can sit and follow. Then I'm just gonna push it into its dog bed since it's currently getting wet. <laughs> Okay, what are you doing, dumb dog? Back up. Keep going. There you go. Get in there. Now, the problem is... Oh, wait. The fence is in the wrong spot. Of course, the dog's right where the fence needs to go. There we go. There we go. Actually, I'm not going to do spot. I'm going to do... I'm going to do Max. Because I kind of like the name Max. There we go. Okay, so now there's that. Now, if you ever want to get your dog out, all I have to do is open it. No, oh, dang it. It won't, you can't reach it now. Ugh. Okay, well then. I guess the only, really the only way you can fix that is go here. Not oak. I don't want oak. I want that and that. And I guess really the one way you can fix that is like this. Arg. Then you can make it too high. With the birchwood stairs like this. So now if you ever want to, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly remove that one, put that one up there, and that one up there. So now if you ever want to, you can come in and join your dog. So now there's that. He actually has a big, a big, whatchamacallit, a big, oh my gosh, a really big dog house. So I'm going to go ahead and do two, and I'm going to fly up here, get the Birchwood sign out, and I'm going to do Max again. Well, maybe, maybe not. There we go. So now that way, you can go in and out. So let's say, come on boy, let's go. Come on. Come on boy. Okay, apparently he doesn't want to get out in the rain right now, so I'm not going to make him. Sit. Good boy. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put that away. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do stone again. I'm going to have it come, come into here for another little walkway area. So like right now, I have my smoker, my table, and my fire pit right here. Then I have a dog house right here. Then inside I have my house. house. So yeah. And this is like a little chill patio area. If you want to, you can put some pots down here. You can put some... I'm going to show you how to do some bushes real quick. So, I'm just going to do some oak wood leaves. Or oak leaves? Oak wood? Oak wood leaves? Oak leaves? I'm going to do it like... One, two... Three... Dang it, this is one too many. Okay, so I want grass block.
Oh wait, what? Oh, huh. This side was too big anyway, so. No. Okay, so I want brick again. Put that there. Okay, now I want the oak leaves. I finally didn't say oak wood leaves. <laughs> I want the oak leaves. I'm gonna place it like this. Because then in the middle, you can have it like that. So then it looks like a like a little bush. Actually a big bush. But now let's say you don't want to, then you can do like a three by two. And then you can just have the back as that, so then it looks like stairs, but then when you get back here, no, there's no back. So you can have either option. Either option's fine. I kind of prefer this one because it makes it a little bit bigger, but if you don't have that much space, and you don't want to make it bigger, then that's fine. You can just use this, this option, this option, or you can even make it a two tall or two or you can even really make it a one if you wanted to or you could even do that so really bushes are endless then let's just say I want some I don't know some ground cover or something I'll do a large fern no large fern then I'm just gonna do a normal fern but now the only problem with this is you cannot place it on concrete you have to place it on the ground so like that so like let's say you want fern to cover this side of it but then to get to the fire pit area you want to do like just a normal small fern then you can do that or like if you want to completely outline the whole thing with a fern and that's fine too like that actually i don't really like the three the tall bush the or the three long bush so like if you wanted to do this, you could do that too. Make a make it have more privacy to it. Then if you wanted to, you could put like some I don't know, some like dandelions in here or something. It's like I'm gonna do dandelion. Maybe some daisies then you can just put like some dandelions and some daisies in with your dog it's like dandelions over here then like two daisies and like two more dandelions and two more daisies you could do that or you could just leave it empty like this cow now I'm gonna go ahead and go in and go to sleep again and the reason why was because it was raining so I just basically skipped the rain so yeah there's that Honestly, I think it looks kind of nice. Because like, I have my walkway with my house. Or walkway, then I have my house, and I have like a back patio area. And I have like a big...
big hangout and chill area. Then I have like my dog house over here. Even if you if you wanted to, you could then you could like fence stuff like fence. Bleh. Like, hang on, let me do it real quick. Fence birch again. And if you really wanted to, you could come out to like here. Come out to here. I think, maybe. Nope, too far. Dang it. Okay, so come out to here. Then in here, what you could do is you could put in like some, like I'm just going to do a quick little simple thing. So I want it one away from each. So what you could do is like this. I completely replace all of this. And you'll want to go too deep, actually. Actually, you don't have to, but I am. But I'm gonna... Honestly, you could go however deep you want. You could go too deep, you could go three deep, you could go 50 deep. <laughs> Although, that'd be a... That'd be a big old hole if you went 50 deep. Now I'm going to get some sand. Again, this is also optional. You don't have to do it. Then I need like a water bucket. Basically what I just did was then you can come out here and grab like a fishing pole or whatnot and you basically go fishing. Just wait a little bit. The fish should swim up soon if there are any. There may not be any in here because it, oh I think it pulled too soon. Okay, so apparently you can't until you get some fish in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do put like some cod in here. I know they aren't the prettiest fish, but it'll work. Then you can go fishing in here. I caught one! That was funny. Wait, what? I put cod in here. How do I get a cod? <laughs> I, I put a bunch of cod in here. How do I catch a puffer fish out of it? Now, you don't want to eat a puffer fish. I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to do it. I'll show you why. You don't want to. Because then. <laughs> yeah, food, food poisoning. And that happens. And it looks like you're drunk. That's a weird looking pig. Oh. So yeah, that's why I never want to eat puffer. Let's see if I can catch a cod or something. Or like salmon or something. I wonder why they're all over there. What I really wish they'd put in there is like some bass. How did I catch a salmon? Well, apparently it works now. So yeah. And what you can do is you can come in here, cook it, although I don't have any coal yet. I need to buy some coal real quick. Now, I do coal inside and charcoal outside. I honestly don't know why. You can cook it. It takes a while. Doodly doodly doo. 
then just like that you have a cooked salmon then you can eat it then when you're full you can just put it in your chest and just like that you have a nice little fishing spot too so let's say you want to go I don't know let's say you want to go this way to get to your fishing spot for some reason I need some spruce or some birch I also need some more decorative stone bricks then BAM BAM and let's see when I come right here and go out this way Then there you go. I'm gonna get some more large ferns. I'm gonna place them all on here, including back here. I'm gonna put them on here too. And I know it looks like it's overpopulated, but it really isn't. Actually, it might be, I don't know. Don't ask me, I'm not a scientist. I'm a gamer. <laughs> no one, also, no one quote me on that. I'm not a scientist, I'm a gamer. Don't do, don't quote me on that. Because I'm not even a, really a gamer either. So yeah, that's basically.